Good morning. It is actually Friday and it's the 24th. Um, Brie is actually sick with a cold. So she's not going to school today. She um, started off, it started yesterday. Uh, she's in the car. And no, the morning she, she woke up yesterday morning, she was fine, like 100% fine. And then by the time I picked her up from school yesterday, she got in the car, her nose, like I could hear it. Like I was just like, what the world? Cause I, you know, I, we do our daily talk, like how's school, how's your day? And she was like, her throat was hurting. So I was like, mm, that's strange. And then when she got to talking, I could hear like she was all clogged up. So I was like, whoa, like what happened between the time she woke up to the time she got out of school it was a completely different person. So she's um, in the bed sick um, and I am keeping her for real quarantine because I don't want to be sick. So last night when we had dinner, you know, we sit down and have dinner as a family. I let her eat in her room um, because she sounds that bad. So I did give her some medicine and stuff. She says she feels a little bit better this morning, but she still sounds terrible. So she is um, in the bed and we're supposed to go to a birthday party tomorrow, but um, we're not going to make it because my friend has a newborn baby and I'd like to respect their boundaries and I don't want to get her or her kids sick. So we're sad we're going to miss that, but Brad's just sick and I just can't take her out. Um, and I can't go by myself either because I've been around the germs and I don't want the germs to spread. So, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, we went to the gym this morning. I'm in a little ugh because my gym, my workout was not the best. You know, like when you go to the gym and you feel like, or if you go to the gym and you feel like your workout could have been better. I don't know. I just feel, I don't feel depleted. Like, I don't feel like I had a workout and I hate that. It makes me feel uneasy. So my mood's kind of off because I didn't have a good workout this morning. It's just, it was all over the place and I just didn't like it. Um, so, yeah. all my groceries up and I meant to cut on the camera but I forgot so we did order through Whole Foods and I was gonna go tomorrow but I changed my mind so anyways um Brace went a little better gave her some medicine I ordered these chips y'all I've been I see these all the time these Terra Mediterranean real vegetable chips when I say when I say these things are good focus these things are good let's see I didn't even see the serving but but the only thing is look, the only thing is look how much chips you get Hold on. you get it okay I did eat some but this is probably how many chips you get literally this many chips I'm like look I think these chips are like $6. I'm like, no, it's here. Taro, they have taro, sweet potato, batata, par parsnip, and ruby dip vegetables. Hold on, I bet that's my husband called. I'll call him work phone. It's lunchtime and I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm trying this. I never buy these, but I'm trying it because 
I have not meal prepped and I'd be hungry and I need to get back to meal prepping this week. Um, so I made, I'm not I made, I bought these. If you've had these before, let me know. This health choice. And this is the Simply Steamers. This is cream. Girl, why is your camera about to fall? My camera about to fall and my eye was itchy. This one is the creamy spinach and tomato linguine. Linguine with spinach and tomatoes in a creamy sauce. So we're gonna see what this tasting like. It's supposed to be 270 calories, 38 carbs, three grams of sugar. We went to the gym this morning and I'm not really trying to eat pasta, but this is the only thing that actually sounds good right now. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I have some cheese crackers. What can you do? It's still better than eating five cupcakes, okay? So, um, and plus I keep saying we're not trying to diet, we're just trying to eat better, clean up our diet and stop eating so much junk and sweets and just learn how to eat things in moderation. So it's not a diet, so I'm not going to kill myself that I had cheese crackers or this linguine that I'm about to eat because it's more so, you know, the biggest thing for us, um, what we were talking about last night actually is that we eat a lot of fast food, like we eat a lot, we eat out a lot. Um, and when we had lost weight, the first time we lost weight, as adults, like a good chunk of weight, we realized that um, we, when we did eat out, we ate out at restaurants, but we were not eating a lot of fast food. So we got back into fast food and it's just been a downward spiral, but I have been cooking a lot this week. So I cooked all week actually, yeah, me. I'm even cooking tonight, even though I want pizza. And that's probably why I'm craving like a tomato base, but I'm gonna cook tonight. And we've noticed a lot, a big difference in just cooking dinner versus like eating Chick-fil-A, Sonic, Golden Chicken, pizza. What else do we eat? Whataburger. Do y'all say Whataburger or Whataburger? Um, Just everything Chick Fil A makes mainly. We Chick Fil A like, shoot, that's our second home. But the fact that we haven't been to Chick Fil A and um, the times that the two times that we did go, we literally got just the egg white grill. Like that's it, nothing else. Just an egg white grill. Uh, two mornings that we were like on turbo, but we were starving, and no hash browns, no juice, <clears throat> just the, literally just an egg white grill. So we. I've come to the conclusion that we eat out a lot, which we already knew that, but now it's just more so about taking out the junk for the most part, not dieting, dieting but cleaning up our diet and having home cooked meals. So this is a start. And the fact that I am eating this and even bought this, I don't buy stuff like this because it's just like only dinners that I buy are, um, let's see, the fork. The only, the only dinners that I actually buy are the Amy's. Um, if y'all know Amy's brand, the vegan or vegetarian brand, that's the only, um, Lini is so good, but I be adding Parmesan cheese to it. Oh, it'd be so good. Okay. So then it says to pour this. Ew. What is this? See, this is why I don't like stuff like this. This is supposed to be the cream sauce. Okay, let's see. I do have my own. I could have put my own sauce on it, actually. Okay, it's not too bad. It was looking a little, ugh. I think I'm going to add some seasoning on here. Let's see. Let's do a simple. Let's do a quick taste test and see. If it's nasty, I'm not eating it. I'll tell you that. It's 
is hot. It's actually not bad. The only thing that's missing is some seasoning, which I can add. I'm about to add some seasoning. I'm gonna add some seasoning. I'm not gonna add any cheese or anything to it. I'm just gonna eat it like this. It's actually not that bad. That's what it looks like after I stirred it up. Is that spinach? Oh yeah, creamy. It looks like kale, honestly. They say it's spinach, but it definitely looks like kale. It's good though. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of seasoning. Oh, look at that steam. And then I'm gonna eat this lunch. And then the next thing we know, it'll be dinner. Hey, buddy. No. Oh, that's when I had the AC on. Oh, y'all have the world's best husband. He sent me some flowers. Oh, that was so sweet. I could He sent me some flowers. I was like, because we have. Um, his friend working on our lights in the, I'm sorry, we have his friend working on our lights in the kitchen. Well, it was really his dad's friend, you know, Mark thinks his dad's friend is his friends. But anyways, and he's like, are you expecting some flowers? And I was like, no. So he gave them to me and I was like, did the hub send me flowers? He is so freaking sweet. Brand my phone, I gotta call him. Okay. It's on the charger, right here. That was so, that was so sweet. Thanks, baby, that was so sweet. And brush it up. And this is the arrangement, but look how cute this vase is. Cute, that base? This Ooh. vase is so freaking cute, y'all. You are a hater. <laughs> Bree is a hater. She's at home sick and she getting on my nerves. Supposed to be sick. I am sick. Stop pushing it. Let Uncle Mark get his shine. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Hello. That is the sweetest thing ever. What happened? Ear to ear. I mean, is it cheek to cheek? What are you doing in my bathroom? That is. Can you go? Can you can you use my truck and go to Home Depot? For what? Later in the evening, and I am about to um get ready for bed we just had dinner i just made some um chicken legs i made some chicken legs with a vegetable and right now look what i'm doing taking my clean laundry that i was supposed to fold today and i'm putting it on this couch because because i'll do it tomorrow me and brie uh, basically just chilled and watched movies all day today um, so I told y'all she was homesick. So we just watched movies and now I'm about to chill with the hubs and call it a night. So I'm just moving on my laundry. I know he ain't drinking my Olipop. Don't go in that bathroom. Don't do that. Give me some. This one. Give me some. If y'all don't drink Olipops instead of soda, you're missing out. Mm, this one's the cream soda. So good. God. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Good night, y'all. I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. All right, you guys. So... I'm straightening up, trying to straighten up my bathroom because I just got done combing my hair and braids here. So this is where the mess kind of starts to pick up a little bit. Um, we went to the gym. Me and Bree went to the gym today. The hub was out. He had to take care of some business so he did not join us but me and Bree did go to the gym it was her first time at the gym now we are currently getting ready to take uh we're currently getting ready to oh shoot 
girl. All right, so we're currently getting ready to take Brie out to eat for her early birthday meal. Um, she's actually feeling a lot better. It's just that her nose is just still just a teen stuffy. Um, she doesn't have COVID or anything, um, but she just had like a little, I think it's with the seasonal changes um, that she was under the weather, but she's feeling a lot better. And her birthday is actually next Friday, um, but she's doing like just like a small little summer party. So, uh, we won't be able to actually um, take her out. Um, so since we're not actually able to... Side note, do these run out super fast to y'all now these days? Like, I changed these. I kid you not, it feels like every three weeks. For this to be two, these things go really fast. And I know I'm not crazy. Um, but yeah, so... Anyways, like I was saying, so we're taking the kid to eat for her pre-birthday meal. Um, and then we'll take her probably out again as like with like other family on Saturday. But like her intimate meal just with me and Mark. Um, I don't know what intimate is with her, but yeah, I guess her 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 meal just with her parents just with me and mark um i don't know if y'all can see me or hear me hold on. yeah so hold on. i was saying just her personal intimate meal with her parents me and mark we won't be able to do be able to actually do that on her birthday so we said we'll just knock it out today so we're getting ready to go to doug holders um it's seven and it's currently four o'clock so we're gonna go ahead and start getting ready i did her hair now i just need to find what i'm gonna wear she knows what she's wearing i want to get her some pictures and stuff um and yeah so uh, i guess we're just gonna go ahead and get ready to get on up out of here and so the next clip y'all probably see decided i'm not actually gonna take my camera inside because i want to learn to enjoy moments and not be so focused on vlogging um but actually enjoy what's happening in front of me so i decided that i don't know if i'm necessarily going to vlog intimate dinners anymore i can't say never but the way that i feel today um i don't think i'm gonna actually take the camera inside i'm not 100 sure that's why i feel right now i could change my mind but i feel like sometimes when i'm vlogging like it's a it's a two-headed sword because it's like you get to capture the moments you know what i'm saying but then it's like you also like lose so much focus on what's happening because you're like oh shoot i need to get this footage and do this and do that so i'm just on the fence if i just want to i don't know i'm talking right now just talking but yeah so i don't think i don't think the way that i feel right now i don't think i'm going to actually take my camera inside but we'll show you right, i'm ready to go putting on my shoes and uh let's go yeah 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 i got on my i got on my shirt i bought from ross uh like in december trench coat inc heels the little see-through ones. Hold on, I can show you real quick. You can't even tell the shirt is sparkles. You can see, see a little bit. Just some black pants. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm stumbling. Black pants and then these heels from um, INC. And that's just a quick little, quick little, quick little outfit check.
Okay, we're home. We are home. Let the dogs out, fed the cat. Um, time it is, we're calling it a night, so we're gonna go ahead and say good night. Excuse the dogs, they're eating and drinking water all in the background, but um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. So, good night.